everyone, friends of First of All Species, I'm Daisy Hyena, we're back with another episode of Nine Hours, wait, 999, okay, so last time, we got killed in the yellow submarine, <laughs> um, so we've been killed in a lot of different flavorful ways, uh, this time, we're gonna go back here. So this is about the time when we get to the hospital ship. And there's only one other option. And that's to take the third door. So that would be right here. So I'm probably, you're gonna see me jump to that. But it's making me question, why are, why is this? Did I not do something correctly? Was that why that's still locked? I don't know. Um... Okay, I'm going to do as much as I can. We should be getting closer to the end because we only have three endings left. But, um, we'll have to see. I think I have to, like, del like figure out all of them before I, uh, get the good ending. But I'm going to get the good ending. We are getting out of this, Okay. I am determined. So, let's get in it. Okay, so the only one left, though it doesn't make sense, is door number three. And I want to do a completion thing, because I feel like if I complete everything, I can find something else, but I also know what's behind door three. I want to go through door number three. Nope, you can't. I know. Huh? Why? Because it's impossible. Yeah, it is. If we split ourselves into three and three, then we give up on going through door three. Yeah. Why? The bracelet numbers for the six of us are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are two combinations that can go through door three with three people. Three, four, five, or six, seven, eight. That's it. Of course, two teams can't go through the same door. I see. That means one team would get left behind. That's right. Yeah. That doesn't happen if we go through door seven or eight. No, they're fine. We've got three options. Option A, have three, five, and eight go through door seven, and four, six, seven go through door eight. Option B, four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Option C, three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. Those are the only three options. That's it. At least, if we want to get all six of us out of here. Wait. But that means five and six can never be on the same team. Yeah, oh, me and June, huh? If we want all six of us to go through a door, then June and I can't go into the same one. <sighs> Have you molded over enough, or do you need more time? Anyway, that's the deal, so think it over. You've got two choices, seven or eight. You can't choose three. If you choose three, you're going to be leaving three people behind to die. So what are you going to do? Seven or eight. Time to choose. After thinking it over, his conclusion was... A. Now here is interesting because I've already done these two. And only because I've already done those two, am I going to say three. Which, of course, in this situation, I would never personally do that. I would, I would take any kind of bullet for the team, plus I already know what's behind door three. So I don't want to go in door three. I really do not. But, boom, let's go. Sorry, Santa, but I still want to go through door three. What? That's nuts! Ha! You've got to be crazy! Nah, because we already know. Why the hell are you so obsessed with that door? I'm just... I'm just curious about door three. That's all. That doesn't explain shit! It really doesn't, but fuck you. I've got a <laughs> reason. I'd be happy to explain it to you if you'll just come with me. I'm curious about the red. Seven, would, would you mind authenticating for me? Why? Please, just do it. Happy? Yeah, thanks. The number seven has been entered into the red. Oh no, are we gonna sneak make them do it and then jump in? 
Oh, we all kinds of- Oh, we're dirty, man! Next is June. Uh, please touch the red just like Seven did. Jumpy, what are you trying to figure out? Ah, yep. I think- I think I might have found another way out. What? What? Really? Oh, we are all kinds of dirty! Okay! Now please, June. Oh, okay. Oh, we are fucked in the head! Oh, we deserve to die for this shit. <laughs> we are gonna die so brutal. All right, the only people who haven't authenticated now are Santa, Clover, and Lotus. So, what's your point? Bye-bye, bitches! You don't get it. Uh, think about it. Huh? What's the sum of your number and Clover's? Twelve. And what's the digital root of that? Three. Which is Santa's number. By the way, Lotus, uh, what's the number that's currently in the red? Seven plus six plus five equals eighteen. It would be nine, right? Yes, and what will the digital root be if you add three to that? Three, the door's number. There you go. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell are you up to? I'm not up to anything. I'm just waiting. Waiting for what? I'm waiting for the balance to shift. Santa, or Lotus and Clover. Once one of you moves, the others won't have a choice. Hey, yo! <laughs> so you son of a bitch! You tricked us! Yeah, we're. <laughs> all that stuff you were going on about is all bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit? Huh? I don't think so. Didn't I tell you I figured out another way to get out of here? This is it. Why the hell would you do something like this? Cause we fucked in the head! Jumpy. <laughs> oh, we all kinds of dirty! You did this just so you could go through the same door as June. That's it? Ha! Ah! So, who's it going to be? Santa? Or Lotus and Clover? Shit! <laughs> Let's go, Clover. Come on, Auntie! Come on, Clover! Let's go! Fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, no, wait! Oh! This is insane! This isn't right! Santa beat them both! Yeah, well, you may be right, but... Oh, we going to go. hell, hell! Oh, we going to the son of a bitch, Junpei! This isn't fair. Do you realize what you just did? You leave them out there, and they can't. Shut it! That's enough. We gotta find the dead, or none of this is gonna matter. We got less than a minute left. No time for screwing around. Get moving. Damn it! You and I are not done yet, bastard. Yeah, y'all gotta jump. Y'all gotta jump to uh, Junpei after that, man. There's no way you can let him get away with it. You gotta jump him. <laughs> yeah. Where the hell is it? It's in there, man. Over there. It's gotta be behind the door. Damn. It's pitch dark inside. I can't see a thing. No, wait. I found it. The dead's right over here. Oh, we just stepped in. What? The floor's slippery. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Move. There's something. Get over there. Quick! Get to the dead! There it is! Just wipe off all that blood. Okay, now you gotta jump, June. Okay. <sighs> you got to jump, June. Pay now. It stopped. It stopped. <laughs> <laughs> like, I will take no other. You have to be. I don't think I'll ever ass. get used to doing this. Bro, you gotta. What the. <clears throat> what the hell is this smell? Oh, yeah, that's Snake, by the way. This is vile. I'm gonna puke. Oh, maybe it's a good thing you came through and not them. Oh, you're right. Oh, this is 
Let's get the lights on first. There's a switch over here. Okay, guys, I'm flipping it on. <gasps> what? Hey. Oh, this is... Looks like an explosion. Just like the ninth man. The detonator on his bracelet set off the bomb in his gun. Oh, God. The, the bone is coming out of his left arm. Well, no shit. It's definitely an open fracture. No shit. The face is the worst. Yeah, can't even tell who it is. Uh, but the clothes are... Is that... Snake? Oh my god. Why did this happen? No! Oh, wow, she lost her shit. Oh yeah, she didn't see the ninth man. We No! Oh god. Stop. Calm down. <sighs> hey. Please get me out of here. You have to let me out of here. Oh god. Somebody knocked Why this bitch out. June. Get me out of here! Please! Please! Just let me out! Uh... Why are we in love with this bitch? June! Calm down. No! Get off of me! Let me go! Let me go! Please! Calm down! Be fine. It's gonna be all right, June. It's going to be okay, Connie. I'll be here with you, okay? Wait, in this timeline, she hasn't told us to call her Connie yet. Thank you. Now somebody punch Junpei, cause like that that shit can't stand. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Do you feel better? Yes, but I'd like to stay here for a little while at least. Jumpy's body is. So warm. Oh my god. <sighs> Act like y'all never it. seen a dead body before. Oh, so they're just gonna let him go without beating his ass? I mean, I know that this is not, like, the other girls, they're gonna be fine, but they don't. Okay, the divider between the stalls. On the other side of this wall? No, I don't want to think about that. Well, there's blood. Left, left, right. There's le letters written in blood. LLR. Do you think that might be some sort of dying message from sick? No, because he blew up. How could he write in blood after he blew up? No, that's impossible. You saw the body. You weren't doing anything after something like that happens to you. Then this. Where the blood's dry tells you that it's really old. Whoever's blood this is, it ain't snakes. And you're saying the blood was put here a long time ago. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um... Toilet paper. Hey, something. X. Ooh. Stack of toilet paper. Oh, there's no. A wooden box. There's something in here. Luminol. Okay. Ooh. A wooden box. Nothing else interesting in here. Broom. The rabbit hutch. Huh? What? Oh, you just reminded me of it. The rabbit hutch, I mean. How did I remind you of something like that? Jumpy and the broom. You're always playing around with the broom in front of the rabbit hutch. Oh. I was. I guess there's some cultural mix, because they're nothing... 
We weren't allowed to have animals in our schools. Like, I guess the classic in our culture would be the hamster, but like nobody does that anymore because of allergies and stuff. So they they don't let live animals. Don't you remember? You mean you don't remember that summer either? Of course I remember. How could I forget something like that? It was terrible. They were in the sixth grade. Junpei and Jun had been assigned to take care of the classroom pets, the rabbits. Their chief duty was to clean the hutches every morning. On the final day of school before summer vacation began, Junpei overslept. He rushed to school and found Jun standing in front of the rabbit hutches. Oh god, they're dead, aren't they? No sooner had Junpei arrived than Jun began to cry. He had no idea why until he looked behind her into the rabbit hutch. The first thing he saw was blood. The hutch was filled with dead bodies of the rabbits. Even after their teachers and friends came to see what the commotion was, June couldn't stop crying. I just kept crying and crying until you came over. You held my hand and you looked very serious and you said, Don't cry. I'm going to catch the person who did this. Oh. <laughs> after you told me that. I finally stopped crying. I figured a fox got in. Well, the real fun started after you quit crying. You oh, told no. me we were going to catch the killer together. <laughs> June smiled, and a little of the flush of life returned to her cheeks. Then we decided that we'd ambush them. Oh, God. Yeah, I remember. The school also kept roosters and guinea pigs. Dupay and Juna decided the murderer would likely return to finish the rest of the animals. They would ambush the killer at night. Junpei and June hid behind the hutch at dusk and waited. It was a warm summer night. Well, at least they also have cicadas. <laughs> the quiet sound of cr oh, crickets. Here, man, cicadas over the summer, so fucking loud you can't hear yourself think. But I love them. I don't know why I love cicadas. Don't don't ask me why. Or I guess send me. But as the sun went down, the stars began to wink at them from the sky. And June's Akane Kurashiki's face. The night was something Junpei knew he would never forget as long as he lived. But the murderer never showed up. We waited for them all summer vacation, and they never showed up. Yeah, but the animals didn't get attacked either. I think all that work amounted to something, you know? He'd felt the same way, but it was good to hear her say it. Although, you know, if you think about it, we were probably taking on a lot more than we could handle. Hmm, what do you mean? If a killer came, she looked up at him confused. Oh, come on, we were just kids. If whoever killed the rabbits had actually showed up, they probably would have had a knife or something. I mean, you must have been pretty worried, right? Unless this bitch killed him. Cause she didn't cry until we showed up. I, I wasn't worried. Did this bitch kill a whole hutch of rabbits just so she could h hang out and possibly get the D? Damn! Because you were... Because you were there with me. Oh, she wants this dick! <laughs> okay. She blushed furiously. But you know, no one else wanted to take care of the animals. Clearly embarrassed, she tried desperately to change the subject. I was the only one who asked to do it at first. Yeah, well, boys don't really want to bother with taking care of animals, you know. See, I can't relate to this because FFA, uh, for y'all who don't know, in, because I have a lot of international viewers, in America there's this program called FFA, which is the Future Farmers of America. In FFA, you could do horticulture or agriculture or different kinds and of that kind of stuff. We raise, uh, or at least I was part of the livestock. So we did rabbits, chickens, turkeys, pigs, goat, lamb, steer. And we would get these animals and we'd raise them for a year we'd go to a livestock show we'd show them sell them get them out so 
I can't relate because most of them, well, most of us were girls, but um, there were also a lot of boys. So I'm not sure if it's like the attitude over there is like, oh, too cool to take care of something, but over here it's a business, so. Well, yeah, but you asked to do it after I did, didn't you? Well, yeah, because we wanted some, uh, we wanted your tail. Eh, if it wasn't the rabbits, they were going to make me do something else. You know how that school was. I figured it'd be better if I was working with somebody who wasn't too much of a loudmouth, right? Damn! Somebody who wasn't going to tell on me if I felt like blowing it off. Really? That's why you volunteered? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh-huh, that's not what you wanted to hear, bitch. He nodded quickly and much too earnestly, then quickly looked away at something very important. Really? Of course. He hadn't... That hadn't been the reason, of course. He had asked to take care of the rabbits so that he could be near June. But it had been so long ago, he couldn't bring himself to tell her how he'd felt back then. It would be embarrassing. Bitch, why? He took a quick breath to clear his head, tossed the broom up, then snatched it out of the air. Well, uh, we don't really have time to be walking down memory lane like this, you know? We've got to figure out a way out of this room. Otherwise... I don't know why it's... The words are on here like that, because, like, I... Yes. <sighs> Only time it does that is when we're about to die, I'm so... Look over there. June nodded curtly and then walked away. I should get back to it myself. Ah! That's right. The pool of blood. Junpei turned around and looked at the room. At Snake's body. Chunks of flesh and organs still lay on the floor. Ugh, going on and on about old times right next to a corpse? What were we doing? Well, maybe it was because we're in this mess. Despite such a situation, or perhaps because of it, the mind turned to the furthest thing from death that it could find. And you- It was dead rabbits! Still, Jun Junpei couldn't help but feel a twinge of guilt at wanting so desperately to live when Snake lay dead before him. I have to survive, no matter the cost. I need to make sure she gets out too. As he stared at the clumps of blackened flesh, all Junpei could think about was how much he wanted to live. See, that's odd. I wonder why I did that. A thick pipe that stretches across the floor. Okay. Nothing else? Dividing walls that separate the toilets. We need to take a pit. Oh, hey! What do you think this is? Looks like tar. No, it I have never seen tar look like that. It's kind of sticky. I don't even... I don't think we can just wipe it off. I don't. Just pouring some water on it's gonna help much either. What about hot water? Hot water? If we had some really hot water, like boiling hot, then maybe that would wash it off. Well, what about this stuff? There's something that looks like ton. Hot water might have a little wash it off. Okay. There's some toilet paper on this shelf. Okay. Dividing walls separate the toilets. Let's see. There's nothing in the toilet. If there was, I'd be gross. Uh, I was thinking maybe put that there. Oh well. I already checked all three toilets, you know. Nothing unusual there. Okay, fine. Oh shit. It's a thermometer. Can you get it off? No. No, it's screwed on the wall. Screwed on the wall. So the thermometer is going to touch the wall pretty easily with screws. So we're looking for a screwdriver, I guess. Oh shit! I got a car key. It looks like a car card. Like a key card. I wonder if we could get it to it somehow. I don't think so. It's too deep. I can't reach it. Ooh, we'll have to do something about that shit. Eh? This is a piece of paper tied to this pipe with wire. Notice drainage valve operation. Please do not flush the water in these pipes. 
Doing so may cause the drain to overflow. Oh shit. Alright, let's see if anything happens when I turn you. Nope, nothing, not even a drop. See, the problem is, I want to do that left, left, right, but there's five, not three. Oh, even if the blood's been wiped off, it'll still glow. Okay. So, there might be more stuff around here, right? Wait, you don't really think we're supposed to use this luminol here, do you? Yeah, it does seem kind of weird to use it here, but maybe I should try it just in case. And then you turn off the light or something? Hey! Left, left, right, left, right, left. I'm just gonna take out my handy dandy. set on the wall. Wonder if it actually did anything. Hey, this drain's acting up. What the hell did you do? I just messed with the valves a little. Nothing big. What? Jump in! The card is floating! Looks like the water floated the card out of the drain. There was water flowing through the pipe on the right. There's water pouring out of the drain. Let's take that. Ooh, thank you. And then we're gonna try this. Doesn't look like the shower works. There's water coming out of the shower head. Let's see if... Shit, that's hot. Really hot. Man, the water must have been just about boiling. Let's get that. Bucket. Maybe I can use the shower to fill up the bucket with hot water. Hey, Seven, can you turn on the shower? I'm gonna put the bucket under the head. Uh, okay, sure thing. Dope. Let's get back over here. There's something that looks like tar inside the toilet bowl. If I flush the hot water from the bucket, that should clean it up. Oh, if I flush the- okay. Alright, so I just pour the hot water into this tank and... Looks like you filled it! Now you should be able to flush it, right? There's probably a handle somewhere on the tank that you can pull. You think so? Yeah. Oh, there was a screwdriver in there! That sucks because now we're gonna have to pour on our hand in boiling water. Fuck. Or... This is a... Well, this would be the thing. The... The tank's filled with boiling water. All I gotta do now is pull the handle. Some pipes are connected to the tank of the toilet. Alright, let's flush the hot water. Well, there it goes, just like the toilet should work. Okay, so... 185... Equal... I guess that's the code to get out. Nothing happens when I press those buttons. Oh, wow. Well, it looks like power's on. I wonder what the deal is with those things that say lock up there. That oh, shit. So I guess I have to undo two things and then put that in. Okay. Come on, man. I already said I checked. Fuck you. What? You don't trust me? No, I don't. I don't trust none of your rashes. And then... Hey, Junpei. Uh-oh. You know why thermometers only go up to 107 degrees Fahrenheit? Because we die after that, I guess? No, I, I can't say I ever thought about that. At 107 degrees, the cells in the human body start to die, and the organs begin to shut down. 
the proteins in your cells start to harden. Fuck! It's like when you hard boil an egg. Even if you cool it down afterwards, it won't go back to being a raw egg. In other words, it's dead. That's why thermometers don't go past 107. There's no point. Oh yeah? But it's pretty rare for a fever to get that high. Yeah. Even viruses and stuff don't usually drive the body temperature up to 107. I mean, it's not unheard of, but, I mean, it happens. Of course, there are other external things that could. Like what? Fire? Well, let's see. Something like getting locked in a sauna. Oh, yeah. Hey. Or getting thrown into an incinerator and burnt to death. You know, Santa, I know we just kind of almost dicked you over, but I feel a lot of animosity coming out of this conversation. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would get a little hotter than 107 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, I got it. Huh? What's up? <sighs> I mean, if you're going to punch us, punch us. Uh, nothing. Forget about it. What was that all about? Bro, we just tried to dick him over. What are you talking about? What did you do to me? Open. Are we trying to get this, that temperature to open, I guess? So, yeah, if I can get this hot water on the thermometer, then maybe. All right, thermometer, let's get this party started. Yep, looks like that's doing the trick. There goes the gauge. And now it's at the open mark. Huh? Huh, it opened. What's this? Looks like there's a piece of paper in here. Oh. Okay. Oh. Walk okay. Okay, I'm I'm gonna check out this toilet paper shit because this. It's a it's a toilet paper with some kind of red symbols on it. You think? You think that maybe it's a Cy Cytel cipher? What the fuck? Cytel cipher. What the hell is that? You wrap a piece of paper around a stick and then write several sentences on it so that the whole paper is filled up. Then you unwrap the paper and you can't tell what the original message was, right? That's how it works, more or less. Then to decipher it, you gotta have a stick that's the same diameter as the original one. Same diameter as the original one, huh? Yeah. Then you just wrap the paper around that stick, and then you can read the code. Oh, the broom! So combine. Huh. What if I wrap the toilet paper around the broom? Oh, so you wrap the toilet paper around the broom, huh? Looks like the symbols line up perfectly. It's a 634 plus. Okay, 634 plus. Oh. I think we have to do something else before it's gonna let us enter a password. Maybe we have to disable those two things that say lock first. Okay. There might be something in the tank, you know. Let's open that shit up. Oh, card. Red key card. <laughs> Nothing happens for a person who's gotten it. Oh, hey, the blue light just came on. I have been trying forever. Oh. Just on, but it's off now. And the red light's on instead. 
Guess we have to swipe the red card first and the blue card. Okay, fine. There we go. Good job, Chappie. You got flags around now. Then you just need to put in the password. Okay, so it was six, three, four plus nine, five, seven plus one, eight, five. 1776. I mean, shout out to America. That's uh, the year we got our independence, right? Both lights are on. We should be able to enter the password now. What's with the E and the C? Enter and clear. E means enter, C means clear, I think. So if you put in the password, hit E. If you screw up, hit C. Duh. So, let's get out of here. I hate that animation so bad. Okay, somebody got to somebody got to beat the shit out of Junpei. There's a large iron door at the end. Let's take a look. Huh? What are you doing, Seven? Well, I figure maybe we might want to come back here sometime. Yeah, that's true. So, I stuck the broom in there to keep the door from shutting. Alright, let's go. Jumpy, look! What's up? What's that on the wall there? Oh, I, I think it's... Whew. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then. We'll have time to study it later. Let's keep going for now. Ready? I'm gonna open it. What the? You're shitting me. We are back. Oh, we better get punched. Somebody gotta beat the shit out of Junpei for what? Clover! Lotus! And Ace! I'm glad you're all okay. Uh, Lotus? What are you... Yep. Wait, did she slap June? She's supposed to slap me, not June. Yeah. Knock it off. We got bigger shit to worry about right now. What? Go have a look. Um. Oh, no, no, no. Warn them because it's Clover's brother. Stop the screwdriver in the door. That door over there, the one without a number. So long as the screwdriver's there, it can't shut. So you can get in there. There's a shower room past there. I stuck a broom at the door there, too. Anyway. Go take a look. Then you're saying we can go in there without passing through the numbered door? Yeah. Yeah, it's about the size of it. Wait, what the hell is in there? You'll know when you see it. Um, don't let Clover go in. Fine, let's go. My goodness. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Should I go as well? Yeah. Very well. Yep. Later that same evening. Looks like there's only two floor buttons working. C and bottom. Time to head down then. Okay, so this is different because then it looks like we're all going together. This is a numbered door. Yeah, it's door two. So who should go through the door this time? We don't need to be discussing who we're leaving behind this time, right? No. Right. It's set up so we'll be able to meet up again once we get through the number of doors. Then there's no need for arguments at this point. Hmm. We should figure out who's going in first. Very well. Would anyone like to volunteer? I'll do it. I'll go too. And I suppose I need to go too, then. Oh, shit. So... I guess it's automatically us three. All right, we're taking off. Okay, please be careful. Jesus, you two are acting like you're married. You know that? Why not? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly. Cut it out. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
Let's do this. Okay, so if you do do three, it just goes straight to Yellow Submarine Death. Hmm. Alright, I already know how this one goes. How to defeat it. Blah, blah, blah. If there's anything different, I'll tell y'all. Just give me a sec, okay? Alright, and we're back. Huh? No one. Where did. I have no idea. Hmm. Hey, Junpei! We should follow him. Oh, yeah, shit! <laughs> Sorry, I took off my head because I was going to take a breather. I figured it would be the exact same. My dumbass forgot. In this one, we all went down to the bottom together. We don't know where everyone else is. So, maybe it's something different this time. I know where we need to go. The door behind the central staircase. There was a sun symbol on the keyhole of that door. And I happen to have the sun key in my pocket right now. This should open that door. <sighs> Alright, time to open this. Okay, so I Hold think on a from there. here it's gonna huh? be the same. We don't have the key for this one yet, right? Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, it's the Jupiter symbol. Then we can't open this door. Oh, shit. Unfortunately, no, we can't. Jeez, the sun door's got to be just on the other side of this, you know? We can't just stop. Hey, it, it opened. What? What? Man, the others must have found the Jupiter key. Well, what are we waiting for? Okay, now we're back. <sighs> yeah. What? Oh, wait, we can see if we checked all their bodies. What the hell? What the hell happened? Clover. Nothing. She's dead. Uh, hey, what are you doing? The key. Get me the sun key. Why? Why do you think we have to get out of here before the murderer comes back? So we only check Clover's pulse. <laughs> the murderer? Seems that Clover and Ace, three people, three dead bodies. That means that the person who had killed them was... No. No, it can't be true. Give it to me! Let's go! <sighs> Open! What happened? Okay, I think... I don't know. Six and a half hours later. Yeah, so after that point, it was all the same. Anyway, so we went through the door three after that super fucked up scene. Like, we were 100% in the wrong and Lotus should have hit me harder. Like, I really, really, she should have beat the shit out of us. But anyway, I'm starting to feel stressed out, so I'm gonna cut it off here. Anyway, if you like what you see and you want to see us finally find the right fucking door. Find the right answer. Leave a like and subscribe so you can see my content in the future. Also, while you're here, if you have any games, suggestions, or you just want to say hi, down in the comment section below. I'm Juju Hyena. I'll get you on the next one.